everybody, Cinema Buffs here. Happy 2017 to everybody, and with the new year brings us a whole new crop of movies, and this week we're reviewing the new Martin Scorsese movie, Silence. Yeah. Nate and I are big Scorsese fans, so we're really pumped up for this one, so we decided to take a moment, talk about our favorite and least favorite Martin Scorsese movies with a new episode of Strongest Weakest. Strongest! Weakest. So Nate, let's just get right into it. I mean, it's kind of hard to pick either one of these so why don't you give me your weakest what's your weakest scorsese movie yeah this was a tough one they're all good like there isn't really a bad scorsese movie he's no. just <laughs> he's that good at what he does so just bear in mind i like all of his movies that i've seen at least i haven't seen all of scorsese's movies but i like all of them so when it comes to weakest it just means that it's just not as strong as the other ones i guess but right. it doesn't mean it's weak by any means but for me the weakest i would say is hugo um, I oh, liked wow. Hugo a lot. I did, I did too. <laughs> um, but like, it is a kid's movie. I find it on the slower side. Um, and I think it was Scorsese trying his hand at doing a children oriented movie. And once again, enjoyable movie. I think it's visually stunning, but it just wasn't a standout. Like if someone was like, who's Martin Scorsese? I'm not saying you have to see Hugo. Right. It just didn't, you know, topple all the others that I've seen, I guess. So yeah, I mean... Once again, see Hugo. It is good, but I don't think I'd watch it again. So No, no, I agree with that. And uh, you're right. There, Scorsese hasn't really made a bad movie. There's no. a few, like, meh kind yeah. of movies. And Hugo is just kind of like that. It's like, yeah, you know, it's, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. I did not enjoy myself. Yeah. And so for my weakest, it's a, another one of his just meh movies where it's not bad, but it's the one I enjoy the least, and that's yeah. uh, Bringing Out the Dead. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I've seen, I got really into Scorsese when I was in my early 20s, so I have seen all of his movies. And this is the one that, it's not that I dislike it, it's bad, it's just the one I enjoy the least. Yeah. Uh, Nicolas Cage, he's just, you know, he's hit or miss with me. And I think this one's a big miss for me personally. I don't know what a big miss, he has bigger misses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah but, definitely. Uh, yeah, this isn't one of his standouts. Or right, like right. That, yeah. And uh, there are good things about this movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, the cinematography is really, really done well, as is the editing, as with all of uh, Scorsese's movies yeah. with uh, Thelma Shoemaker, his longtime editor. Yeah. And Tom Sizemore is really good in it, too. But it's just that I just think it's a case of style over substance. Where it's yeah. a very visually rich movie, but it's just like the story didn't really grab me. The characters didn't get me going. So it's, very, it's like a the best word is like it's sleepy. It's a sleepy movie, you know. It's just sort of like yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I know what you yeah. mean. Though not bad. No, but just not great. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. But like we said, there are tons of great ones. I mean, picking uh, strongest for Scorsese is just as difficult as picking a weakest because you got this crop of classics. Yeah. So I'm dying to know which one did you pick out? Well, this was. So incredibly hard for me. I think that I went with rewatchability with Scorsese because there are some very rewatchable movies, and then there's other movies that I loved every moment of it. But will I watch it again? Like I love Taxi Driver, but I'm not gonna watch that movie very often. It's kind yeah. of a downer, and it's really a heavy, heavy movie. So one that sticks in my head always. This is when I heavily got into Scorsese, and I love it. It's more of a recent one, but The Departed. Yeah, I love The Departed. It is the one that won him the Oscar, which I think that was more of a, uh, you know, he won the Oscar because of, because of his collection of movies. It was just time. It's a body of work Oscar. It was a body of work. It was just time. But The Departed, I could put that thing on in every scene. I'm like, yes, this scene. Yes, this scene. I just love every moment. It was going to be something else. I'm not going to say what it was going to be because I want to know what your number one was, but The Departed is my favorite Scorsese film. Yeah, and actually that was my number two. Uh, Departed is just... A, not only is it, you know, an Oscar winning movie, a great movie, a great crime movie, it's actually a lot of people don't know it's a remake it is. of a yeah. Hong Kong movie. So not only is it one of the best mob movies of all time, it's one of the best remakes of all time. It really too. Is, yeah. And it's right up there. It was my number two, but number one, that's Goodfellas. Yeah. And that was my number two. Right, that right. Was, and yeah. uh the thing I like about the departed, uh Scorsese even said it himself. He says it's the first movie he directed with a plot. Like all these other movies that he's made, they're more like character studies yeah. and, you know, just these true life stories like Goodfellas. I just think that it's it's quotable. It's got the iconic performances, all these great characters. And it's what every mob movie, every crime movie wants to be. It's true. It's a classic. It's Even a, Casino wanted to be that. Exactly. Movie. And like, Casino was up there, too. Yeah, That's, Casino's fantastic. But yeah. it's no Goodfellas. No, exactly. Same writer, same team behind it. But it's just yeah. there's some something magical about Goodfellas. I mean... It's the some of the best performances of you know, Joe Pesci's career. Easily Ray Liotta's best performance. Yep. One of De Niro's best performances too. And just there's not there's not any weakness to this movie at there all. Isn't, no. It's near perfect. 
And it's just this masterpiece that's going to be studied by film students for generations. Yeah, and I think that if there is a weakness to it, which personally I don't think it is, it's its length. But that's just, that comes with Scorsese. It's going to be a longer mm -hmm. movie because he needs that time to tell that story. But you're right, even with the editing again, it's snappy editing. And with Departed, I find it to be sort of like the, the little cousin, the little Boston cousin of Goodfellas. And I feel like Departed is Goodfellas for a new generation. Yeah, Almost. it is. They, yeah. They're quotable, likable characters, some of the best performances you'll find, but Goodfellas started it all. I mean, right, right. Movies. I think that the guys who, this generation who are watching The Departed, go back and discover Goodfellas. Yes. Whereas we started, started with, Goodfellas. with Goodfellas and then Departed just added to it. It was just a gift, kind of, to us. So, yeah, I mean, even with gangster movies, it's like Godfather Goodfellas is like right there for gangster movies for me, like the top two, easily. Strongest! Weakest. All right, so that's our strongest, weakest Scorsese films. Uh, what do you guys think? What's your favorites? What's your least favorites? Leave all your comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Once again, appreciate all the support from the last year, and we're looking forward to this new year of movies. Yeah, we're hoping, uh, we were a little down on 2016, so we're really hoping there's an upswing with 2017, and what better way to start off the year with the Scorsese movie. His new movie, Silence, will be bringing you that review Friday. But yep. don't you forget, there's no place like the theater. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a cinema buff. And if you want to be a cinema buff too, click the logo on your left to become one of our subscribers and you'll never miss an episode. So thanks for watching and don't forget, there's no place like the theater.